quick video that I just want to share. So we jump right into this. This is about these bad boys and my experience with them. So I'm pretty sure you've seen magnetic lashes because they've been a thing for a while now. And um, a little backstory on how I even got here to pick these up to try these and tell you how I feel about them. So. Everybody tries them and put them on and show you I'm like yeah it looks fine when you put it on cool but let me actually go ahead and open this before I start rambling too far this is what it looks like and it's like $30 so a steal because lashes are a little too expensive and of course I've used these um I think my favorite ones that I used were these set I have three these set that I use right here this set here and as well as I believe it was this one up here, either one of these two. Oh, it also comes with like a little the metal tweezer, which doesn't make sense because you're putting um, magnet, the is magnetic gel to attach the lashes. So a hot mess. I wish I recorded me actually trying to put it on the first time. Even if you have one eyelash extension, don't do it because by the time the end of that day, I end up having no eyelash extensions. It ripped them all out. So I was like, okay, cool. Well, <laughs> let's just go with it so i decided to go with it and i decided to wear these and i think for work these were the ones i decided to wear basically i wore them a total of four days and i had to stop on day five i couldn't wear it because my eyes literally i don't know if it was the gel or what it was and my eyes just one of them i don't remember if it was this one or this one but it just had a whole bunch of little dots on there and then it was like super super red and swollen so i was like oh, i'm not gonna try to do these anymore so i don't know i would say honestly this is literally just me talking to y'all like if you need to go somewhere really quickly for like one day two days maybe but after that my eyes were so irritated with whatever's in this I couldn't do it but I'm gonna just show y'all because I don't think it's bad maybe I have sensitive eyes which I don't think I do but I'm gonna just show y'all really quickly because like I said maybe because I was using it for so many days and I don't know maybe I just had me personally a reaction because the first couple days I had no problems maybe just because it was so many times that I actually decided to um put them on my eyes just got irritated and was over it so really quickly it basically is gonna um put a little bit on your hand or you would actually put it on your eye i typically did um wing liners i'm a the first day was horrible i mean like first day it looked trash and maybe because i had my uh eyelash extensions under it so it was kind of like uh, a mess like i couldn't get it where i need to be and though these little I can't find it right now i mean it's in the bathroom right now but the little um eyelash things didn't really help because I feel like that was just making a big mess and everything was sticking together so there's that but it says to let this dry I'm all over the place sorry but it says to let this dry for like a minute or so 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 I'm gonna give it like a little bit more for it to dry you can kind of tell and you can do the oop, you can do the little tap test it's still a little wet but while this is drying let me tell you it was so hard to get off like I like water um proof things don't get me wrong but and after doing and watching a couple of videos, I realized that um, I forgot. I'm trying to think of the company because it was another company that wasn't really. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get off Amazon, but it wasn't this company. But they had um, little packets of um, remover, and I was gonna buy that. But the packets were almost thirty dollars, and this was thirty dollars. So I didn't really want to spend thirty dollars on. 10 removers and i was gonna need a lot more so i had to figure out what was in these removers and it's basically an oil base so my goddess line oil it's a 24k carat body oil and face oil and it has like a whole bunch of good oils and stuff for you so that's literally what i use and i use my little um eyelash serum that i have so i end up using both of those to help my lashes for a week before i end up getting my lashes done again because i destroyed them with this but anyways, 
that's how you take it um you take it off it's basically some kind of makeup remover or some kind of oil based product and you rub a little bit and it comes right off so not a big deal i'm gonna just take this one because honestly it don't really matter and cool thing is they have like a little display so when you take them off there's like a little um magnet band in there so you can literally just attach it right here and you keep all of them right here because i'm making this one crooked and you can kind of tell this one from this part of it it's a lot shorter so this would be in the inner corner of your eye and that would be on the end but basically you kind of just want to line it up and it really just is attached right to it and it has one two three four five little strips to it and this is kind of like how it'd be attached to your eye so it's not bad and i don't hate it i would just like i said i'm <laughs> not really that good with eyeliner i played with it a little bit but yeah so that's really how i would stay and honestly they stay on all day i didn't have a problem with anything coming out i think maybe the corner of my eye one or two days where i didn't put enough there it might have came up but it was on for a while and this is what it looked like they're actually really really soft but my only thing was my eyes i'm gonna show you the clip somewhere in here of how red they got. I don't even think I got them on the day where they were like super duper red. It was just a little irritated on the day that I actually caught it because I was like, um, wasn't really sure how I felt about magnetic gel on top of my eye or very close to my eye. <sighs> but I didn't want to walk around looking like a Muppet. So I was just like, let's try them. $30 is not bad, which I don't regret buying them. I just feel like I gotta space them out when I wear them or I'm gonna try them again and see if it was just that one time that I had a reaction because I, I did switch over because it comes with two bottles I did switch over after I had a reaction and I don't know after that I think I did it one more day and I was like nah we just not doing it and plus it happened to be my days off and I didn't really need to go put lashes on because I wasn't going anywhere so overall would I recommend these for everyday geeks no unless you have just strong eyes and you just know you good and you're good at putting on liner because i feel like if you're not gonna put on liner and your hand is shaky don't do it go find this mascara that i'm about to link in this video and use that because that mascara has got me through a, a, a long period of my life when i wasn't getting my lashes and stuff done and i would just literally put it on a mascara and it would help with wash it like it just would wash right off so, I mean, that is more like an everyday work type of thing. I wouldn't recommend it if you want to go on vacation or somewhere because the minute you let your face is going to come off. But I would recommend that over this. And then this would be like my last resort. Like, last minute, I need to be extra. I need to be extra or something like that. Because I didn't really wear any other ones. Then I would say this top. Well, these because they're so extra. These, these, and then these. Because these are more like my everyday work lashes, crash roller, or like not as dramatic. But overall, if you need to wear these like maybe two days, I would recommend them. But as an everyday thing, maybe a different company with a different eyeliner. Maybe it was just sitting in the storage for a long time. And I don't know, because there's a lot of things that could happen with these products. And this is just my personal experience with it. Because I actually didn't, I didn't hate them or I didn't dislike them. But I just wouldn't continue to use it because when I saw my eyes getting irritated, it just nah it wasn't that's not what i'm here for so other than that oh look you can actually see can y'all see that on the back from when i was fighting with it one of my eyelash extensions from the very very first time when i was putting them on if you have eyelash extensions do not put these on over it because first of all i had eyeliner on the lashes and it, the eyeliner stuck every it, it just was a mess don't do it but this is getting way too long way too long long story short a day or two yes more than that get the mascara that i'm talking about and other than that get eyelash extensions because nobody trying to walk around with a swollen eye period it's not that deep but 30 dollars, i would say try them because like i said your eyes may not get irritated like mine did but yeah or your you know the first time you use it you might just be like nah i can't use it but amazon 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 my life comes off of amazon but that was just really quickly because i know i see a lot of videos of people like applying them which is cool you put on a lot um eyeliner and then you just put it on like this that wasn't my issue my issue was removal and 
just like the redness on my eye because I really wanted to like these so bad like I really really wanted to like these so bad but when my eye got red and my eye started to get red it just it, I couldn't because it was just like something's not something off something something ain't right I wanted to love these but like I said maybe a day or two if you have somewhere quick to go and you don't really want to get like get your lashes fully done mm -hmm. or just mascara but honestly y'all um, And I'm, this is something else that I um, didn't really see in too many videos. After it dries up, mine sometimes gave me like little patchy spots. So if I did put it down and it was in the wrong place, I would have to put more gel on, more eyeliner on to actually help me. But for $30, I'm not mad. And it's like six, it's 16 pairs of eyelashes, the two gel, um, eyeliner and then the pen up here the little not pen but the eyeliner eyelash tweezer something like that but that's it y'all i will catch you guys on my next one be safe wash your hands you know it's a lot going on in the world right now but um your girl gotta get ready to work i just want to share a little bit of um my experience and how i felt about these because like i said i saw a lot of um videos on how to apply cool on how to apply but my thing was and really quickly i didn't even realize this early it gives you a 20 20 gift oh 20 gift card for your review i don't know if they're gonna like my review but i might do it but um like i said for a day or two i would definitely recommend these but anything longer than that unless you just know your eyes are strong don't do it Anyways, until next time, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.